Road transport today faces enormous challenges. Demand for personal mobility is increasing, imposing a high cost on society. More than 40,000 people die every year, and more than 1.2 million are injured on European roads. In addition, emissions caused by transport threaten our health, negatively affect environmental quality, and make a significant and growing contribution to climate change. Innovations are needed. The European Commission has uh, three main challenges in terms of uh, road transportation. Road safety, traffic congestion, and energy efficiency. This is backed up by the uh, Intelligent Car Initiative that was uh, created in 2006 and voted at the European Parliament in 2008. In the past decade, the automotive industry has already made a lot of efforts into making our vehicles safer and more efficient. Today, high-tech in-vehicle active safety and efficiency technologies represent a great opportunity to improve the situation even further. Now is the time to get these technologies into the market and better understood. Euro FOT is the first European large-scale project for studying the benefits of uh, advanced driver assistant technologies. The goal of the project is to scientifically assess the impact of intelligent vehicle systems on traffic safety and efficiency. Most of the systems tested are already on the market. However, they've not penetrated the market sufficiently to really bring about societal benefits. Until now, many of these uh, intelligent vehicle systems have been in luxury cars and in, in more expensive cars. But now, over the years, we believe that this will increase traffic safety for everybody. And in this project, uh, we want to prove and show that for the community and the decision makers that this is really important for traffic safety. The real value of Euro FOT is based on the fact that as a field operational test, it will be carried out using ordinary drivers, on actual roads, and with real traffic conditions. Euro FOT is a first-of-its-kind European-wide field operation test. This project is co-funded by the European Commission's Seventh Framework program for research of information society technologies. In Europe, it has 28 partners, including vehicle manufacturers, research institutes, and leading automotive technology suppliers. We uh, do that uh, with the 10 different brands of vehicles that are present in the project and we organize it in different vehicle management centers. There are four different vehicle management centers, one in Germany, one in Sweden, one in France and one in Italy. So in Eurofoot all brands will follow a common methodology. This common methodology will provide guidelines on how, for instance, to define common scientific questions, on how to create vehicle prototypes, which will be the first vehicle collecting field operational test, and on how to perform the pilot experiment. Among all these innovation systems, Euro FOT spotted eight different systems that will be tested in this project. In Germany, Volkswagen, Audi cars and man trucks are testing the lane departure warning system. The lane departure warning system is a system with cameras that supports the driver keeping his lanes. And uh, when the car moves slightly over the lanes, the side of the road, the system warns the driver that he's now leaving the lane. This LDW system is also tested by Volvo cars, Volvo trucks and Fiat. Adaptive cruise control. It is a radar mounted on the front of the vehicle that keeps check of uh, the vehicles in front of the truck. You then set your cruise control to your cruising speed, and then uh, the adaptive cruise control will keep a certain distance to the vehicles in front of your vehicle. Many curves cannot be seen by the driver, such as blind curves or during night drive. The goal of curve speed warning is to identify such situations in advance, allowing the driver enough time to react properly. This is also a system based on a radar that checks the distance to the vehicles in front of us and should you get a too close distance to the vehicle in front of you, say that it is stopping or something like that, you will then get an audible alarm that we are getting too close to this vehicle. The blind spot information system is a system with cameras on the rear mirrors that helps the driver 
when he's changing lanes. So if there is another object there, the system will warn the driver that there is less risk of accidents. From research laboratory to field tests, that's the step that Euro FOT want to do with about 1,000 participating drivers in relation with vehicle manufacturers, automotive suppliers, universities and research centers. In uh, the UFOT project, we try to bring intelligent vehicle systems on the real road with real drivers in real conditions. There are three main challenges uh, in providing uh, technical solutions for Eurofoot. The first one is to provide data acquisition system which can collect the data without disturbing the drivers. And practically we do this by uh, looking at uh, the, uh, the data from the vehicles. We also look at uh, eye movements, for example, from the driver and video from the driver actions of an event. And the second one is to provide an efficient and cost-effective way of storing and processing this huge amount of data. The analysis that we do is, uh, uh, is uh, focused on looking at the uh, effects of uh, active safety systems and the driver interaction with the systems and with the, with the environment. And the third one, and maybe the most important one, is to, to develop an efficient tools for analysis. The automotive industry needs these experiments in order to analyze how the driver uses and interacts uh, with these systems. And additionally also to see what benefits the systems provide with regard to safety, traffic efficiency and the environment. This will help us to fill the gap between research and deployment and bring these systems faster to the market. Over the course of one year, more than 1,500 cars and trucks equipped with a range of different intelligent technologies will be tested on European roads with real drivers in real traffic conditions. The project is now actively searching support of car dealers and fleet managers to take part in this leading European initiative and recruit the test drivers. Maybe you will be one of these privileged drivers.